Hey guys, it's Johnny Dice here with your plugin deals, and today we're gonna to look at Lecter by Waldorf. Or maybe I should say. Hey guys, it's Johnny Dice here with your plugin deals, and today we're gonna to look at Lecter by Waldorf. So as you guys can tell, we're gonna look at a Vakoda today. I really like Vakodas and I'm surprised they're not used more often. I think a lot of people think it's a bit harder than it seems. So today I want to show you guys just how easy it is and give you a few tips and tricks on how to do some outside the box stuff with Vakodas. So let's have a look at Lecter. So this is Lecter. Uh, as you can see, it's a really cool looking interface. Uh, might be a bit intimidating at first, but I'm gonna explain it very shortly. The first thing I wanna show you guys is uh, I wanna run a percussion loop through Lecter. So when usually you think of the coders, you think uh, about voices, but they can do a lot of amazing things with percussion as well, as we're gonna see. So this is the percussion loop I have. So it's a pretty cool groove. I'm not too sold on the sound though, so that's why I want to put it through the coder and see what happens. So I'm just going to turn it on. Nice. So at the moment, what we're hearing is um, like a default carrier tone. So in this corner here, you can control the volume of the coder overall. You can increase the volume of the carrier signal. So at the moment, it's like a diagnostic test tone, and you can also the speech is the mixing of the original signal. It's pretty cool. So what I want to do is um, I'm going to change this from down here. You can change it from latch to normal. So that means that now it's not going to be a continuous carrier tone. We'll have to actually send some MIDI information. So let's do that. So I'm just going to create a MIDI track. Let's call it a Lecter uh, Perk and and all you have to do is make the output of your MIDI channel the input for your lector. So there it is. So now if we play a chord, that's pretty cool. So now the, the groove of that particular percussion loop, we can play chords of it and make these really cool um, like gated pad, um, pad sounds. Okay, so now that we kind of understand that, I want to go over some of the features here. So I'm just going to lay down some chords, and then let's take it to the next level. So I added some chords, guys, um, just for demonstration purposes. And now I want to demonstrate some of the stuff's happening here. So if you're thinking you want to change the sound of the oscillator, you've got all these different options. You've got like a square wave here. You can add a sine wave. So a wave. And you also have these really cool acoustic sounds. So. Try the nay flute. I quite like that. So I'm going to keep it on that. You also have a second oscillator here that you can blend with. So if you use this level here, you can bring in some of that. You can also uh, add a bit of a bit of glide on there. That's pretty cool. That's using the glissando effect. We have an awesome filter over here. So just got to turn that on. Got band pass, uh, all kinds of different options here. Resonance. Cool. And then over here, you have the synthesis filter bank. So you can actually filter the incoming audio and make some really unusual and interesting sounds. So let's try that out. So let's sync it up. And then. That's pretty cool. Let's do the low one as well. So guys, that's pretty awesome. And if you remember, our original percussion loop sounded like this. So that's pretty awesome. But I know what you guys are thinking. You guys want to hear some voice going through the vocoder. So what I've done is I've actually recorded some of myself speaking and let's see what we can do. So I recorded a message of hope for the people. Uh, it's pretty dark times at the moment, so I wanted to do something positive. Uh, here's what we got. Everything is good. Everything's okay. So I'm not very proud of this. This is not my finest work, but I'm hoping with Lecture we can transform that into something that's listenable. Okay, so I've got another default instance of Lecture here, and um, let's just hear how that sounds. So at the moment it's just doing uh, it's in the latch mode. So what I'm going to do. Let's put it into normal, and 
I'm feeling kind of lazy. So what I'm gonna do is just, uh, everything is good, MIDI. Um, let's send that to everything is good. And I'm just gonna take the chords from up here and put them here. And let's see what it sounds like with a square wave. That's cool. I'm pretty impressed by that. Um, and this also gives me an opportunity to talk about this unvoiced detector up here. So if you're feeling like the vocoder is not picking up on some of your um, syllabants and some of the finer details of your voice, you can actually include some, uh, some more detail with um, this feature here. So let's try it out. So it's making it a bit more intelligible, which is really cool. I don't think a lot of vocoders have that feature, so that's a really, really great inclusion in my opinion. Let's try the noise mix. So that sounds pretty good to me. Um, there's plenty of effects over here. Maybe let's try the delay. I'm gonna put some delay on it. Let's add, turn up the mix a little bit, add some depth, maybe some spread, and some feedback. Okay, let's check out the delay. So as you guys can see, there's all these different effects over here. I've just added some delay and I'm pretty happy with the result. So I feel like we've got a bit of a track going here now. So what I want to do is add a bass line. And I think Lecter's up to the job. So guys, I've made a bass sound just using a sine tone in Oscillator 1 and a uh, you know, bandpass filter on it. And all I'm doing is got some MIDI on another track and it's feeding into this particular Lecter instance. Got a little bit of glissando happening there too. And over here you'll see I've got the carrier turned on and not the vocoder or the speech. So in this instance, I'm just using uh, Lecter as a purely a synthesizer. And as you guys can hear, the Waldorf uh, synth sound is really, really clean and, and quite nice. With the inclusion of bass, I feel like we're starting to get like a track going here. So what I want to do is bring in some drums. Nice. So I'm pretty happy, but I feel like we need one more element just to take this to the next level. And that's probably a lead sound. And I'm going to use Lecter for that as well. So I made a really simple melody line and I've just got the MIDI on this track here and that's feeding into a lead, uh, actually a preset sound called Harman Synth EDT. Let's check that out. Pretty cool. But one thing I want to do now is take the drum loop that I just added and throw that onto the lead uh, audio track. So that's actually going to make the our lead sound have a bit more of a rhythm and percussion. Let's hear that in solo. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to turn off the audio on the next one. So much cooler with the loop in there. And all together now. Right, guys, the last thing I want to show you guys is the sidechain feature here. And for some reason, if you decided the oscillators didn't have the right sounds for you, or um, you didn't get something from these acoustic sounds, you can actually send through your own signal and uh, blend that with the audio. So I'm just going to take our, our lead sound here. I'm just going to mute this. And this is what it sounds like at the moment. So this is just the basic synth that comes in Cubase that I'm using. And I'm going to send this to the sidechain here. So add sidechain, awesome, there it is. And let's check it out. That's pretty cool. And without it, it sounds dead. It needs it. And the whole track. Good. I'm feeling it. So there you have it, guys. That is Lecter. 
If you guys like what you're hearing today and want to get a copy of this, just head over to Audio Plugin Deals and you should be able to get it there. If you found this video interesting and want to get more tips and tricks like this, just hit subscribe and you won't miss any videos. And if you like this video and think it's worth a thumbs up, please hit like. And that's about it, guys. I'll see you next time.